As you can see, I thought this was going to be a throwaway race. I have a 1.3 second advantage pace-wise over the closest guy. Thanks to a mistake I'm going to make, and uh, maybe you'll learn something from it. Uh, this turned into way more an adventure than I would have hoped for, and a little bit of a disaster. But let's get into it. So, I had the brilliant strategy at the start of this race that I was going to use traction control sport in the rain. And you're about to see why that was a bad idea. In my brilliant plan, you can see it's just kicking in and I got a horrible launch. And now the Ferrari I figured it would take off, but man, now everyone else is all over me. And from the start of this video, you know what happens here. Yeah, it gets ugly. It, I felt like a bumper car getting pushed around. I just wanted to scream. Oh, this was this was absolutely terrible. Boom, boom, boom. I couldn't. And I figure I got through here. I didn't. He hits me from behind. Didn't expect him to pop it up tight in there. And by this point, both him and Evil Lawns and the Blue Viper are just gone. I said, "Calm down. I'll just back off." wait for my moment and boom there it was they both go off and I'm off in the distance I'm like oh my gosh thank good goodness I can just focus on catching at Alex I know he's in that Ferrari which is good not good on handling but fast in a straight line it's just time to get to work <laughs> saw the Corvette go off behind me All right, here we are a couple laps later. You can see I've caught Alex, Alex of the Dead. And uh, we're just gonna stay behind him, try to keep our cool, wait for our moment. You can tell though, I'm gonna get a little frustrated as we go on. I do have to take some responsibility. I've been playing around with my settings and reset a few times and I forgot I had proximity arrows off. I'm not sure it would have really helped me at all in that start, but they should have been on because it definitely limits my awareness in the cockpit without them. So back to Alex. As you can see, in the wet, trying to take the racing line, it's really kind of hard to dive up. So I have to slow down for him through the corners, but then he just pulls away from me like I'm standing still almost down the straights. So that's getting a little frustrating because I, I close in on him quite a bit. Like you see, he makes a mistake here. But I have no way to take advantage of it because I'm so far behind by the end of the straight. I figure my best opportunity is going to be coming off this corner. However, he's on the outside, I'm on the inside. I kind of backed off here and I'm glad I did. As you can see, he really dove down. I would have been all over those curbs. Even with traction control on, I'm not sure that would have been a good idea to bounce off those curbs. So again, we're back to a... You know, I don't have enough traction to really go around him to the outside or to the inside. I am starting to get a little impatient. I try to like, okay, in this slow corner, can I move to the outside? But he bounces off the curb into me. And here we go. We're coming up here and he goes really slow. You can see he's sliding and I just barely touch him. What it, and boom, off he goes. Oh, I had to hang my head. I had to wait for him. That was my fault. I should have been more patient. I could have gone wider. I wouldn't have had the exit I would have wanted, but it definitely would have saved me. But now we have S810MM off to my left. So that Corvette from earlier, he's back. You can see Evil on. He's the guy in the blue Viper. He actually makes a pretty good move here around the outside. And I, I'm trying to widen the corner out so I can come back in on him. But then again, 810 here just pushes me out to the side, causing me to slide around. Getting pretty frustrated with these two because they were the main culprits at the start. And they're the main culprits here. But I'm like, hey, I got a great run here. I'll get by them both. And boom, Evil On just dashes right in front of me. Yeah, that's frustrating. Not only that, 
because the collision, I had passed him off that collision, guess what? Another 0.5 second penalty. And now they're both there banging me around all over again like it's lap one. So, really frustrated at this point. I managed to get past 810, but I got Evalon's like right on my bumper. I debated covering off the inside, but he didn't really move, so I just stayed where I would have normally, and guess what? He hits me from the rear. Again! I managed to recover, but now I know he's on my left side. Hit the wrong button there. And as we go into this corner, I do go defensive, and I'm just being patient. I see he's trying to go for the cutback, but I know I'll be on the inside for this corner. I got him some credit. He was doing a good job of hanging on the outside, but I had no patience for him here. I, he, I'm going to make him go up on the bumper. And he tried to push me off, and there he goes. Yeah, thank goodness, Mr. 7.7 .7 seconds and penalties. We can see why. Oh, with that out of the way, now I'm in fourth. I got Alex up here ahead of me again. I'm like, I am not gonna hit him again. So I'm just gonna be patient. Just gonna wait for my time. I know coming through this corner, he gets sideways and struggles with it. So I need to make sure I'm not right behind him. Even getting a run on him here, I know it's not gonna work because he's just so fast in a straight line. Thought about putting it up here, but I backed out of it. Gave, gave him the corner. I think I spooked him a little there because he went wide. And decided to wait for my moment. Now you remember, going through the last corner of the lap, he's slow coming out of it. So I'm like, okay, let me do my best through this sweeping corner right here, just to stay close to him. I don't want to put myself in a position where I'm gonna hit him. Give myself a little space, because I know I'm gonna have better exit speed then set myself up for the corner with the space. Knowing he's gonna go wide, I'm gonna have a massive run on him. Here was my chance. We're going for the inside, and we're gonna break later than him. Just late enough, I can still pull in to the apex of the corner and hold it. And finally get the pass done on Alex, and this time safely. Sorry about the earlier contact, Alex. But, now I can just put my head down for the next two guys. Ahead of me, I've got I Laurel and the Viper. And by this point with Evil Lawns, I am, I am just very wary of the Vipers. <laughs> I know it's the person, not the car. But I put my head down to catch them, and I'm still a little anxious coming up on them. But I'm going to be patient. And again, we go through this big wide looping corner he takes a really narrow line for some reason so I just set myself up for a good run down the straight he gets a really slow run and with the draft in this game combined with my run I'm able to really just kind of go right on by him slow down take the apex and he's too far behind me at this point I've got it now I can look forward I'm also looking at my tires. I'm wondering if they can make it all 13 laps. They may have been able to. I'm not sure. So I'm just kind of holding out to see what happens. The problem is, is once they turn yellow, they start wearing out really fast. So even though it looks like I'm at half, I should be able to make it another, what, four laps? That's not a gift. So at this point, I'm not just chasing Tornado. I'm watching my tires to see what they do and what strategy I'm going to do. And I'm happy to have a nice breathing room at this point. Like, why, why push it? Why go in the pits? Just take my time. All right, at this point, you can see the yellow car up front. That is Tornado. He is struggling and I am catching him. However, my tires have turned yellow and I'm like... Huh, I got three full laps to try and make it on these. I'm just not confident that it's going to happen. And at the last moment, I dart over. 
Luckily, that off track didn't give me a penalty. Got enough penalties in this race already. Yeah, so coming into pits, just get another pair of wets. Hoping I don't come out with knuckleheads. Yeah, evil lawns and 810 mm, just knuckleheads. Let's just hope they don't come out ahead of me. I do not want to have to deal with them. So we're just waiting. This pits just feel like an eternity. And I can see he's 26 at 27 seconds ahead of me. I'm still ahead of Alex, so he must have pitted. Yep, you can see he pitted. I want you to watch that time gap. And what happens to it. Within pretty much one corner, it went from 27 seconds to 24. Yeah, he is struggling heavily. You can see he's picked up a penalty as well. I can't remember if he had that earlier or not. So at this point, he's either going to die, his tires are going to die of death, and I'm easily going to pass him, or he's going to pit. So at this point, I know I got fresh tires. Just take it easy, put in the laps I know I can do, and wait for the moment when it happens. At this point, I'm just ready for this race to be over. I'm still fuming about the con all the contact and being pushed around earlier. Some of it may have been my fault. Tell me what you think. Really close to getting an off track right there. Oh, you can see Tornado. He went into the pits. And at this point, I pretty much just got a clear run. I got two laps, clean space. I just have to make sure I come out four point I have to finish 4.5 seconds ahead of him so he comes out of the pits about four seconds behind me and it's just a matter of you know doing what I can to widen that gap I already know I pretty much have more pace than him so it's just a matter of being cautious and and uh not bottling it I've been knowing to bottle it I see 4.4, 4.5, and it's at this point I really, I really start to get more comfortable. I'm pretty confident at this point. And here we are into the final corner, bringing it home. I managed to get first place, and this race just goes to show for all those guys who are creating havoc at the start. You don't win a race on the first corner. People are eventually, I hope, hopefully going to learn to have a little bit of patience. Because this race pretty much finished out as you might expect it to finish out in terms of where everyone's placed. Except for Evalon. So he had like 8.8 .8 seconds. And, and I'm not, this isn't my proudest moment. Yeah. Because I got knocked down to A class for this. And, well, getting back to S, that's another story.